All right, man. Let's talk about uh let's talk about uh Jesus Christ. Let's talk about the receiver now. A couple of receivers came uh available for the Detroit Lions, Tim Patrick of the Tim uh, of the Broncos, and um, you know, uh man, what's old buddy name? John Minchie, they want to trade him. Now, most people thought it was going to be Robert Woods that might get traded. Now, the Broncos say with Tim Patrick that they may just go and just straight up cut him if, if a trade can't get done. Um, so, yeah, I remember the Pistons, the Lions don't have a lot of uh, – they don't have a lot of, uh, how can I say it, uh, draft capital because, you know, they traded for those developmental guys, Manu and Vackie. But by the way, let's speak on this real quick. So Donovan Peoples Jones got cut. All right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. He got cut. Um uh yeah, he got cut. So, you know, that that that's you know, that is what it is. He ended up getting cut out here. So they let him go sometime uh Monday evening, I'm guessing. Cause some, you know, I seen it a little bit late. So yeah, they cut him and um uh so yeah they cut him so uh you know uh very very unfortunate um he was a guy from the city of detroit that you know we all thought was going to you know work out that's what we thought we thought he was going to work out we thought that he was going to be a baller um, you know, I thought it was a good trade. Now, a lot of people seen it from the beginning was basically like, well, with with uh with Diamond Peoples Jones, you know, people was basically saying like, well, um, you know, you know, last year when he joined the Lions, he didn't look good. You know what I'm saying? Um he didn't look good versus the Lions last year. I mean, with the Lions last year, and I'm like, well, you know. Sometimes it takes time, you know, it's hard for a receiver to come in mid-season to hit the ground running, especially with Jared Goff. You know, with Jared Goff, you know what it is with him. You know, sometimes it takes him some time to form a rapport with a receiver. But apparently, you know, I think he only 25, 26. He just came in and shit the bed. Now, on top of that, he had a lot of issues physically. You know, always injured, and he got a lot of speed, a lot of size, and he was showing his workout photos. Um, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, so, um, but, uh, but, you know, nonetheless, that is what it is. Um, wish him the best in his endeavors, but, you know, it is what it is. But then you got Tim Patrick, somebody that's 6'4". Uh, I liked him, um, you know, uh, when he was healthy. And last year, he didn't do a bad job. I mean, I know he got injured one – I thought I felt like he got injured one of them years. I think it was maybe 2019 he had an injury. But, you know, yeah, he'd been injured for the last couple of seasons, I would guess. But um, slash productive season, he had 85 targets, 53 catches, 734 yards, five t TD. So he ain't played in, in two seasons. So, yeah, he ain't played in two seasons. So, you know, when you go trade or pick somebody up, so he, he suffered a ACL in 2022. Um. So he suffered the ACL in 2022, and he suffered a torn Achilles camp. So he suffered an ACL in, in Achilles. So for the most part, he might be – he probably damaged goods. He damaged goods. So the chances of him coming back from that is probably slim to none. You know, it's probably slim to none. So yeah, it's it's probably literally slim to none, y'all. So I don't know, you know, how he looked in, in training camp. You know, I don't know how he how he looked in training camp or whatever. And apparently he didn't look too good in training camp if they moving on from him. So yeah, my in my humble opinion, it's probably uh 
Yeah, it's probably to the point where it's a wrap. It's probably to the point where it's a wrap. You know, he got the ideal size. He coming off an of ACL. And I think that's kind of happened to Clay Thompson. Like, he had two leg injuries. It might have been the same one. So I'm not sure if it's the same leg. But for me pers- <laughs> personally, I mean, you know, you know, so I don't know, bro. So I don't know how he been looking in training camp. Uh, he said, I felt like myself, I feel twitchy. I felt I was running full speed. Honestly, I think I'm right where I was three years ago. You know what I mean, if that's, if that's true, then I don't think they will be cutting him. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see who they willing to keep over him. Let's see what they uh dev chart looking like. So they got him as a number two receiver. Him, oh, they brought in Josh Reynolds, Marvin Mims, Brandon Johnson, Philip Dorsett. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. You know, other than Josh Reynolds. So uh, they got him as a number two receiver, so I don't know what's wrong with that. But hey, let's talk about uh, um, what's the other receiver say? Oh, John Minchie. You know, guy that had, I think he had a, 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 a Hopkins lymphoma or something like that. Um, he got drafted high in the draft. I didn't know he was born in Taiwan. I think he got drafted in the second round. I think he like towards ACL too. Him and J-Mo tore their ACLs. He got drafted in the Canadian Football League draft, too. Shit, you know. But uh, second pick, 44. Um, I believe he got sick in he tore his ACL leading up to the draft, I believe. Um, yep, he tore his ACL. Him and J-Mo tore it back-to-back. Um, you know, then, yeah, he was diagnosed with acute pro promo promo yokiakic leukemia. See, so we got hit with the leukemia. Um so yeah, um him and Jamo, I think tore their ACLs back to back. He's done literally nothing in the NFL. So I mean, you know, 16 catches, 158, he's done nothing. So um uh, if he the eye guy out and they rather have Robert Woods over him. That should tell that should tell you a lot of bit of something. You know, that should tell you a lot of bit of something. So um so with them rather rather have uh you know uh Robert Woods and Noah Brown over him, that mean dude dude's a lost cause. Yeah, dude's a lost cause. So um out of the two, you know. I would probably say Tim Patrick because John Minchie probably ain't done nothing, but he still got potential. So I can see why people say, you know, I would go with Tim Patrick or I would go with Robert Woods. So, I mean, Robert, Robert, uh, John Minchie. But he was really good at Alabama, though. I give him that. He was fire at Alabama. Uh, him and J-Mo was something to see. So, I don't know. Maybe they going to reunite. But apparently, Noah Brown beat him out. Robert Woods beat him out. Um, obviously the top three, Stefan Diggs, Nico Collins, and Tank Dale. So, and maybe they didn't, you know, maybe also they don't, they want to see him get an opportunity to flourish and don't want to see him buried on the bench as well, too. So that, that can actually be a real possibility. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live with our video. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Peace.